came out that would made the 12 tribes, he could have chose Esau. But he didn't. He chose Jacob and called him Israel. So therefore, we are the descendants of those tribes. We are the remnants that made it away from the promised land when the invasion came by way of the Romans. We are those descendants. And we still here today to tell the story in America, still in the land of our captivity, that we are remnants of the ones that made it on the ship. That came on the ship and came when others and so many of millions of them died. We are the remnants of those ones that made it off the ship and made it through slavery, Jim Crow, and, and so forth and so forth. We are those remnants. We are. So, I didn't intend to come on and share all of this, but um, I was uh, watching Selma uh, where they were and um, wanted to just, uh, you know, share you know share this because this surface in my spiritual realm. But um, I was back at the store earlier today and I'm going to see if my daughter is going to help share the testimony. Um, I'm going to, I believe I'm led to place it on uh, YouTube. But um, me and her went into a grocery store and I know it's been probably about six months now and um, we just shopping. We just shopping, shopping, shopping. And so we heard over the intercom that um, a 300, I can't remember, what what did it say what was wrong the 300? I don't know, but yeah, you, you were calling it better than me, so. <laughs> it said something was going on with 300, but me, but she heard it, and then she kind of looked at me and said, nah, that can't be our 300. And I was like, nah, there can't be nothing wrong with our 300. Like it was parked, wasn't parked correctly. That's the way they were saying it, to that effect. So we... So we chopped and we took however forty minutes or whatever. Then we walk out the store. So I'm looking down the down the lane or the pathway for my car, and my car not there. And as I'm getting closer, a lot of people, you know, standing around where my car is now, and also this other car. Well, my car moved up, and there are people standing there in amazement. Can you share that part? How they were acting. They were, they were, they were just like, they were like, wow, because you all, I was trying to see how I could visualize the day early when I was at the store. My car, I didn't put it in gear. I didn't park, put it in park. I had it in drive. And now the car was on a flat surface. It, it, it had no business moving. You understand? In that regards. But I had it in park. No, I, I mean, I had it in, in drive. But the car went up. Instead of going straight, it curved and went to the right. And the side of the car on the right with the right tire should have, the corner of the car should have hit the other car. But it didn't. The car was like kind of turned you understand? It went in, but turned in the tires. The two tires were hitting and touching each other. And they stand, they, they, because I'm thinking that, oh my goodness, my car done hit somebody else. Oh, what I'm going, you know, I'm thinking I got to call the police, man, got to do this and that. And I'm thinking about that. I'm not even thinking about this, this, that just happened. You all, it was like if an angel was, was holding, like, like, like turn my car again. Y'all y'all hear what I'm saying? It turned but but the uniqueness of it was the tire, the two tires were touching. And it shouldn't have been because that because the front of the car should have went into that car. <laughs> but they were touching and, and people came was coming over like this, just looking at the car like this. And I said, Oh ma'am, I'm so sorry. And the person who the car belonged to, she let her, she's like, No, no, everything was alright. We and they just steady looking down at the car like this. Somebody well, how in the world? How, what how'd this happen? They, they 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 were just in awe. And here I am in my moment, like I'm just I'm grateful not 
think and not taking it all in, oh, I'm just grateful that she don't have a dent in the car and she ain't got to call the policeman. And so I'm getting in the car and backing out and we went on and then that's when it all hit me. Did you not know what did? Because then it really hit me when we pulled away and they were still standing there like, They were in awe. <laughs> they were in awe. They were like, how could this be? I see your tires touching my tire. But how could that car, how could the, the center wheel turn a little bit to your left? It went into the right, but then it turned a little bit left because your front of your car should have hit my car. Amazing. So that's what he led me to share today. I'm going to share that on um, YouTube. Yes, so that's it, everybody. I'm not sure who's all on. Um, I know my phone is getting ready to go out. But um, all um, get close to the Almighty. If you're not saved on today, don't let nobody tell you, you know, who the Almighty is. I'm speaking of the, the God, I'm the Almighty. I'm speaking of. The Lord Almighty is of the father of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. As I'm getting in further into this walk, I'm understanding that there's other gods out there. People serving other gods and don't know that they are. But the God you want to serve is of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Of the 12 tribes. That's who you, the God you want to serve because that's what the Bible is about. But Satan... Oh, dirty down, run down, fake Satan, who always want to take, illustrate, infiltrate himself, is going to mimic the Almighty. So you got to know what God you're serving. Because all the gods ain't the same, you I'm letting y'all know now. You got to know what God, when you get on your knees, you... you I even say, I'm speaking to the father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I'm not talking to nobody else. When I get on my knees. Because Satan is cunning, and in these last days, he's going to come more and more cunning. Spirits are more out so than ever in this land that you can't see. But they leap in people, and they in places where they just waiting at any moment when you got your guard down. And if you ain't got no guard up and you never had none up, oh, whoa, I'm telling you, pray and ask God to deliver you from any demonic forces that got you bind, tied down. Because if you're not walking with the Almighty, then who are you walking with? And there's no in between. Either you're with Him or you're not. So you might not want to hear this and you might not want to accept this, but if you're not walking with God Almighty, the Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, where this Bible is written about, then who are you walking with? It, well, I'm not that bad. Some people got to worse it. Okay, I'm just letting you know. I'm letting you know. So, um, what you do is, you know, repent if those who have failed away, fall away. And those who have never been saved, you know, visit Romans 10 and 9. Confess with thy mouth and believe in thy heart that Yeshua died on the cross for our sins, which is Jesus Christ. And people got that where Jesus, Yeshua, we should never say Jesus because this, well, Hebrew names do you know, say Yeshua is in Hebrew, Jesus is what I believe Latin or Greek. So the whole thing is, is that I cast out demons in the name of Jesus. I have actually rebuked. I've been healed and healed in the name of Jesus. So there's so much where they, that's the way they will come. Well, is Jesus real or is um, the Bible real? Is the New Testament, is there? Is that real? I mean, so much of what people going to, you know, the devil going to try to come and play with your mind. You've got to rebuke those spirits and those thoughts because that's what they're going to try to come do.